So we wanted to do another case study to talk about how we determine intake levels and how it can be different for a non-athlete versus an athlete because obviously your goals are going to be very different. Um, so we have an athlete and when your goal is performance, you need to understand that performance does not mean physique. Okay, a lot of people kind of get that confused with, well, I'm an athlete, I should look like an athlete. Athletes are supposed to perform. They're not supposed to look like an athlete. Sure, there are the anomalies, the people that genetically are gifted physically in terms of their physique that will, when they train, no matter how they eat, will start to look more and more like an athlete. But then who cares what you look like if you are performing at the top of your game? And so yes, we wanna make sure you're fueled properly and you feel good, but when athletes come to us and tell us that performance is their goal, which is the case with this case study, we don't worry about your apps. We worry about your recovery, we worry about your sleep, and we worry about how you're performing and that you're at the top of that peak performance. So Liz is gonna kinda give the statistics and how we would determine. Yeah, so this case study here is for a 21 year old. She is a soccer player. Uh, she's 150 pounds and she's five foot six. Right now, she says that she's sleeping about seven hours on average. Um, she rates her stress high because on top of being a student and an athlete, she also coaches a team. Uh, and she works out and trains with her team five to six times a week. So we don't have her body fat percentage here because it doesn't necessarily really matter because we're gonna be going based upon performance. So just like Becca said, a lot of people, when they think performance, they think that's gonna get them shredded, but there are two absolute different goals going on there. Either you're going for aesthetics or you're going for performance. So Matt Frazier even says that abs are overrated because he has abs like two times out of the year and he's won the Open the last couple of years. So just remember if you are somebody who's going after performance but you're not happy with what you see in the mirror, you might wanna reevaluate your goals um, at this current time because if you're trying to change your physique, this is not going to be um, the way that we would yeah. recommend. So yeah. Becca's gonna talk through what we would start her with. Yeah, so like we talked about, the things that we consider when we want to determine how many calories you need to be taking in, obviously your basic metabolic rate. So she's younger, she's moving a lot, she probably has a little bit more muscle mass than a non-athlete, um, and so her basal metabolic rate and her body's basic needs are going to be higher, okay? So compared to someone that's sedentary, that doesn't have much muscle mass, that maybe is a little bit older, she needs, her body needs 1,575 calories in estimation, that's an estimation, of food for her body to survive every day. So for her brain to keep developing, she's studying all this stuff in school, for her liver to keep working, for her kidneys to function, for her reproductive system to be moving along, for her digestive system to be moving along, all those things need calories and they burn calories in a day, okay? So on top of that, you have your total daily energy expenditure. For her, she's a student, she's walking to and from classes a lot, she's an athlete, she's not only doing five to six practices a week, she's probably doing on top of that some weight training to help keep her strong and help keep her performance at a top level, okay? So for her, her total daily energy expenditure is probably to be around 2,450 calories a day, but that's going to change day to day because some days she has a game, some days she has more cardio at her practice, some days she's doing weight training and cardio. She might have a preseason where she has two a days. So we would definitely be in contact, obviously, a lot with this athlete. And the, the intake might be changing from day to day, depending totally. on what she has going on. So yeah. for her performance, performance levels, we're gonna say around 2,600 to 2,700 calories a day. The balance of this intake would probably be coming a lot from carbohydrates so that her glycogen stores are full, she's recovering, she's sleeping well, she isn't overstressing her body on top of the stress she already has from her day to day. So again, like I said, this might change depending on what her time of year is because obviously preseason for her, I was a college athlete, I played soccer, two a days were a thing, we did them every day for a, couple, a good couple weeks. And so the needs of those days are gonna be higher than when maybe she has a weekend where she has games and she only you know plays 30 minutes on a Friday, has Saturday off and then plays on a Sunday. So understanding that your needs are going to be different as an athlete and it's gonna kind of coincide with your training levels. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot that goes into it for sure. And biofeedback markers too, Absolutely. right? Her menstrual cycle is gonna be huge. As a female, we're gonna, you know, load her up with carbohydrates, but we're also gonna make sure that she's eating enough healthy fats yes. because we wanna make sure that she doesn't lose her cycle or mm -hmm. start to have, um, you know, different signs or symptoms of worsening PMS, things yeah. like that, energy levels drop depending upon the, the yep. phase sleep. of her cycle, totally. sleep, recovery, muscle soreness, fatigue, all of these different feedback markers coming from the athlete. That's why we do one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can stay in contact. Really, when we're working with athletes, especially if she's getting ready to you know, go into a big game or they have um, a tournament coming up, we would be talking with them almost daily, probably multiple times uh, a week 
if not every single day or a couple times a day. Totally. And so, yeah, so if you're an athlete and you need help on your journey, just remember that you need to fuel your body right to perform. Yes. <laughs> um, you can reach out to us if you have questions, drop us a DM, email us. We'd love to help you answer any questions that you have.